Hi everybody! Today we are going to talk about one of my favorite topics which is Argo CD and we are going to see how we can enforce Argo best practices and automatically prevent misconfigurations from reaching production using the tree open source CLI. We are going to see how you can monitor your cluster and validate your resources on every code change in your GitOps CI pipeline. And I'm super excited about it today because we finally launched our first building rules for Argo CD, Argo rollouts, and Argo workflows. So without further ado, let's just get it started. In this demo, we are going to see how we can use the tree in order to enforce Argo CD and Kubernetes best practices in our CI pipeline. I already have application that is up and running with Argo CD and Kubernetes cluster in production using AKS. I used my Barcelato ice cream shop for my Mobix tutorial, and you can find all the application source code along with all the manifests in my Mobix Barcelato GitHub repository on my GitHub profile. So what we are going to do today is first of all, to install the tree locally on our machine and use it as a local testing library to align our resources with the tree's built-in policies and rule for, uh, rules for Argo CD and Kubernetes. Then we are going to see how we can adjust those policies according to our needs, and then we'll integrate the tree using GitHub Actions in our CI pipelines. Now, the reason why I wanted to start using the tree as a local testing library is because we usually have application that is up and running in production with customers. So we don't want to like drop on everybody in the organization gigantic policy enforcement in one day. We want to do it in a more gradual way. And by using the tree as a local testing library, we can uh, fix our resources in small steps before we integrate the tree automatically in our CI pipeline. So to install the tree, we need to go to the tree's official website. Let's go to the docs. And I'm using Mac, so I will just copy this command right here. And I'll just do here. This is actually the ice cream shop, my Mobix Barcolato ice cream shop repository. And great, so now we install the tree and we can simply run the tree test in, with the path of all the files that we want to test. So in my case, all my resources are in cube folder, the cube star.yaml. Great. Loading, loading. Okay, so see, let's see what we have here. Um, Okay, so we have a few misconfigurations. Let's review them one by one. And the first failure is actually about my workflow. And it appears that my workflow is not Argo C, Argo workflow, a valid resource. Okay, so let's first of all fix it. And then we let's talk about what, what just happened. Okay, so additional property template is not allowed. That's of course, it's supposed to be templates, not template. Let's run the tree, tree test again. And great, okay. So let's talk about what just happened. The way that the CLI works is actually that it runs for every file and for every resource, it, for, it runs automated checks. And one of these automated, each one of these automated checks actually includes three steps. The first step is YAML validation, which verifies that the file is actually a valid YAML file. The second step is called Kubernetes schema validation, which verifies that the resource is actually a valid Kubernetes resource or Argo CD resource. The last step is the policy check, which verify that the file, that the resource is compliant with the tree rules and policies. And what just happened here is that the workflow wasn't compliant, wasn't aligned with Argo workflow in CRD. So we fixed that. Let's see what else do we have. We also have a problem with the application in YAML. We Yes, of course, we always need to ensure that the application and the app project are part of the RUCD namespace. Um, this is a good best practice. Let's talk about it. 
you see the reason why we need to always ensure that the application and the app project are in the same namespace in the Argo CD namespace is actually dependent on the way you install the Argo CD in the first place. You see, if you use the typical deployment, then under the hood, Argo CD installs internal components such as cluster all and cluster all bindings that reference to Argo CD namespace by default. So if you use the typical deployment and you install Argo CD in a different namespace, you need to reconfigure everything and it can be really messy. So it's highly recommended to install Argo CD in Argo CD namespace and to ensure that all the application and app projects are part of that namespace. Now, I didn't use the typical deployment, so I need to change this rule to look for other namespace. So let's do it later. Let's see what else do we have. Of course, I need to add request CPU and memory limits. And we also have a problem with the rollout, with, with one of my rollouts. We need to ensure that rollout that is marked as degraded scales down replica set. Ooh, I love this one. Okay, so let's talk about it. Um, you see, for every rollout, we can define what is the maximum time that the rollout must make progress before it considered to be failed. Now, if a rollout gets stuck, if a rollout pods get stuck in an error state such as image pull back off, back off then, that, then the rollout will uh, will degrade, but the bad replica sets, they won't. So to, the, uh, to scale down those bad replica sets, those bad pods, you basically need to abort the rollout. And to make sure that you can abort the rollout, you need to set the progress deadline abort to true initially. So let's do that. Okay, I'll, I'll fix all the failures and let's, I'll go back to uh, continue with this demo. So now that I have fixed almost all the failures, let's simply run the tree again, the tree test. We killed slash star dot yellow. And load loading. Great. So as you can see, we still have left this one failure because the rule check for the Argo CD namespace and we initially we installed the Argo in a different namespace, so we want to change that. Now, in order to do so, we need to go to the application dashboard. So, first of all, let's go up the tree.io. I already have a user, so I will continue with the GitHub account. And come to the down, voila! Great. Now, before we continue, a quick note about adjusting policies and rules in the tree. You see, if we simply want to turn on or off our rules, if you want to create a new policy or to delete a policy, you see, we, we can do it directly in the application dashboard. Another way to do it would be by using the policies code mode feature which will also be the way I will do it in this demo. Now, I chose this way because I want to create a new custom rule and I want to manage all my rules and all my policies in code in my GitOps repository because I used Argo CD, which is a big advantage. So first of all, let's go to the settings. Let's turn the policies code mode on. And now we are able to download the policies YAML, which includes all the policies and the built-in rules that we have. And great. Let's add this to the cube folder. Yeah, wonderful. So as you can see, these are all the rules and the policies that we have. So first of all, we want to turn off the rule that checks for the RUCD namespace for app and app application for and app project resources. So let's find it. It's not this one. Oh, I think I missed it. Okay, so we have it in the Argo policy. So let's comment it out, which will turn this rule basically off. 
Let's check it again because I think that I missed one. No, this is not. Okay. So in the default policy, I already have it, it turned off and I turned it off in the Argo policy. So now we are good to go. So the next thing that I want to do is to add a new custom rule that check for the Argo namespace instead. So first of all, let's copy the identifier along with the message on failure because I want to use them in the new custom rule that I'm going to add. Let's change the identifier to be Nick and the message on failure. Great. Now to save time in with the rule logic, I want to copy the exact logic that the tree already used in the built-in rule and simply change the namespace name. So in order to do that, let's go to the tree repository and find the built-in rule. It's supposed to be in PKG policy package and default rules YAML. So these are all the built-in rules that already comes out of the box with the tree. And let's search for it. And yes, this is the one. Great. So let's copy the schema, which is the rule logic. Paste it here. And change the namespace name. Great. So now we are going to go and to upload these policies and to use those policies in the centralized application dashboard. All I need to do is to publish those policies with the publish command. So the tree publish and the path to the policies YAML. Oh, right. Great, okay, so let's run the tree test again. Loading, loading, what attention. Yay, okay, so um, now we fixed all the rules. So, so all I have to do is to submit a pull request, um, and fix all, like submit a pull request and um, merge that pull request to main, and then I can add a tree in the CI to enforce those policies uh, automatically on every code change. So after I submitted a pull request and fixed all my failures, I can safely in integrate the tree in my CI. For that, I use GitHub Actions. I simply download the tree and run the tree test with a pass to all my resources. I really hope that this video inspired you to start thinking about what are the best practices and the policies that you want to enforce in your organization and where you want to enforce it in your pipeline. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.